so we're getting ready to start our basic facial procedure um, and I just wanted you everyone to see that my setup is ready to go here um, on the side um, and I'm going to just review um, what we do initially um, before the client even arrives so we have to prepare our workstation all of this is done before the appointment um, we disinfect the workstation the bed and equipment using a disinfectant wipe and following manufacturer's instructions. Then we check all equipment to ensure devices are in safe working order and plugged into a working receptacle. We gather clean supplies that are needed for the facial, storing in a clean closed container. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. We turn on the hot cabbie and we stock it with at least three clean wet towels. More may be needed um, depending on the service and the client's needs. We fill a clean steamer glass with distilled water and we preheat the steamer. We dispense the products needed for the service according to the skin type and the client's needs as follows. We prepare a disposable portion cup or tray for each product with a portion of the product by opening the top of the container and then we ensure that the tip of the nozzle does not come into contact with the disposable portion cup or tray or you can remove the product um, with a disinfected or clean or single-use spatula um, and then close the lid to the product and then set the portion cup or tray on the tray. Um, we drape our facial bed using one fitted sheet, one flat sheet, and three towels. We place a clean laundered sheets down on the disinfected facial bed, place a towel horizontally at the head of the bed, and I'll show you all that I've done for her in a minute. We lay a hair net and headband on top of the first towel alone with a roll towel to support the head and neck of the client. We save the third towel to lay across the client's decollete. And then with clean hands, we go to greet our client. We, we um, greet our client and escort her to the work area. We determine her preferences. We assess the client's needs, his or her preferences, sorry. We assess the client's skin by performing a visual skin analysis to ensure that there is no inflamed, infected, broken, raised, or swollen skin in the area that's to be worked on, or an open wound or sore in the area that's to be worked on, infection or infestation such as lice to prevent from safely performing the service, we assess the client's consultation form for any medications and products they've used within the last 72 hours. We consult on any known allergies. We consult with the client on any facial surgeries within the last three months and if the client is under a physician's care. We assess if the client is prone to cold sores or fever blisters. We assess if the client has been using exfoliating or lightening agents within the last 72 hours like alpha hydroxy acids, beta hydroxy acids, or hydroquinone. Always we recommend a sunscreen. We assess facial injections within the last three weeks like Botox or hyaluronic fillers. And if the client is free from all of the above contraindications, we can move forward with the procedure. So we're gonna get our client comfortable. And we've given her some privacy. Actually, I'm gonna turn this now so that you can see her. Um, uh, to, to change into her drape or cozy and then we are tucking her in the bed. And then we have a roll towel here that I'm gonna place under her neck. And we've got a headband here that we are going to utilize to take her hair out of her way. So nothing will get in the way when we're performing her facial. And we're gonna take a towel here and put it right on her decollete, covering that up for her. So she's nice and comfortable and cozy. and then we are going to wash our hands. So we are going to um, turn on the water and wet our hands. 
We're gonna get a coin sized um, liquid hand soap and we're gonna rub our hands together. Um, definite cleaning the palms, the back of the palms. Um, we're gonna clean in between all of our fingers and then in between our thumb and fingers. Um, we're gonna clean the backs of our fingers thoroughly. Our nails and um, fingertips will be cleaned. Um, thumbs, uh, wrist, and we're gonna do all of that for a minimum of 20 to 30 seconds. And then we rinse underneath the water thoroughly. Once you have that proper rinse, everything's off, you grab a paper towel and you turn off the water with that hand of the paper towel thoroughly dry um, arms and hands anywhere that's wet and then that's a disposable product so you throw that away and then you're going to finish your hand wash with hand sanitizer.